shuffle in Custer, South Dakota yesterday after two President Johnson passed the bill to Congress as Attorney General. The great lie is that it is civilization. It's not civilized. It's been the most, it's been, it has been literally the most bloodthirsty, brutalizing system ever imposed upon this planet. That is not civilization. That's the great lie, is that it represents civilization. That's the great lie. Or if it does represent civilization, and that's truly what civilization is, then the great lie is that civilization is good for us. But I think that we really need to put serious thought into understanding that we're dealing with a disease. You know, it's like there's this predator energy on this planet. And this predator energy feeds upon the essence of the spirit. Feeds upon the essence of the human being, the spirit. Now this predator energy can take fossil fuel and, and other resources out of the earth. Turn it into fuel to run a machine system. But in order for there to be a need for that system, and in order for that system to work, they have to mine our minds to get at the essence of our spirit. In the same way the external mining takes place, it pollutes, we see now, people understand how it poisons the environment, the water, the air, pollution. The mining of the essence, the mining of the spirit, mining our minds, the pollution from that is all the neurotic, distorted, insecure behavior patterns that we develop. That's the pollution. Because in order for this predatory system, this disease, to work, we must not be able to use our minds in a clear, coherent manner. Because if we use our minds in a clear, co coherent manner, we will not accept the unacceptable. But it's a disease. It lives and travels through the mind, through the generations.